Previously, we have seen how we can make falling platforms in our games just by adding a regular part into this folder, the falling platforms folder. Parts would become falling platforms automatically with the help of this script right here. The script is in the service script service, and this is the script that turns all the parts in that folder into falling platforms. The only problem we have with the script is that when the part falls down, it is gone from the game forever. It never comes back. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to make a part that falls down and it's going to respawn itself back into the game. Let us now go and make that change. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my falling platforms folder inside the workspace. I'm going to make a copy of one of these parts. Doesn't matter which one. So I'm just going to right click and copy. I'm going to go to my replicate storage, right click, paste into. So now I have a part inside the replicated storage. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our service script service, the falling platform script. Let's open that up and we're going to change it to the following. So basically I have made some changes to the script. I have declare the falling platform folder which is our folder here, because I'm going to use it over here and over here. All right, so the next line here, we're just getting all the children of the falling platforms folder. We did this before. We're going through all the children in that folder, all the parts in that folder. And for each part in that folder, we're adding a touch event to the part. We did all this before. This here is our debouncing variable. When the player touches the part, we're going to make a new part, doing that by cloning the part that we have copied into the replicated storage earlier. We're setting the position of our new part to be the same position as our current part. So basically what, what, what's going to happen is our current part is going to fall down and it's going to disappear. And the new part, we're going to place the new part at the same exact position as the part that is being touched and it's going to fall down. Here we're removing the anchor of the part to make it fall down. We're going to give it one second before we replace the missing platform with the new platform. So we're moving the new platform into this folder and that's going to replace the old platform that has disappeared. Now one more thing we need to do here is I'm going to go to my service script service, I'm going to right click and copy the script. And I'm going to go to my replicate storage, the part that we have placed inside the replicate storage, we're going to right click and paste into. I'm going to close the script and I'm going to open up the script inside the part. Let me change the name of the script, which is going to call it script. Open up the script that we have copied and placed inside the part make some changes to the script it's going to be the following script this whole section was pretty much left the same as the script we copied over the only difference is we don't need to get all the children of that folder and we don't need to have the four in i pairs loop to loop through each of the parts inside the folder because this script is going to be only for this part when this part is touched it's going to connect to this function so basically, this is how it's going to work. Somebody is going to step on one of those falling platform. The platform is going to go away, but as it's going away, it's going to copy this part. And this part contains a script. So it's going to copy the part and the script together and place them into that folder. This is the folder. We're going to place all that in here. And when you place the part and the script into this folder, inside the workspace this folder is inside the workspace the script inside the part is going to automatically run by itself as soon as it hits the workspace and when it runs it's going to add this touch event to the part that we have just copied in to this falling platform folder and that should do it let's play test now and take a look so i'm going to jump in and i'm going to jump back out you see the platform fell down and the new platform replaces the old platform. I'm going to go back again. This time, whoa, this time I fell down with the platform. 
but it's okay. Remember before, when you fall down, when you touch the platform, it falls down and it disappears forever. It never come back, but now it came back. It has respawned by itself. So now let's try to get to the other side now. I'm gonna keep on going. And as I go, you can see the platforms, they come back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I missed my step there. Just one thing I wanna point out here is, you probably remember I mentioned a while ago that it is bad practice to have the same copy of the code at multiple different places. In this case, it's probably not that bad because we only have this code at two different places. The first place we have that code is in the following platforms in the service script service. We needed this code to add the touch event to all the parts that are inside the falling platforms folder. So that's why we needed this code. And the reason we needed this code here is because we need to have a touch event that is gonna activate on its own when it's being moved to the workspace. And that's why we needed the code at two different places. Now there are definitely different ways that you can script this with just having the code in one single location, which you're gonna learn in future tutorials, but it would be up to you if you feel it's worth it to do it or not, it's really up to you. Anyway, so that is how you make an advanced falling platform that's gonna respawn on its own after falling down.